हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टुडेज जीके लेट्स बिगिन विद प्रीवियस डेज प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन वॉज विद रेफरेंस टू वेनेडियम कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स वन इट इज़ अ सिल्वर ग्रे मेटेलिक एलिमेंट टू इट एग्जिबिट्स गुड करोजन रेजिस्टेंस अगेंस्ट अल्कलाइज एंड एसिड्स विच ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट गिवन अब इज और आर करेक्ट वन ओनली टू ओनली बोथ वन एंड टू और नीदर वन नॉर टू द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी बोथ वन एंड टू Recently vanadium a critical raw material for many industrial applications has been found in sediment samples collected from the Gulf of Khambat in Gujarat it is a silver gray ductile and malleable metallic element hence statement 1 is correct it is harder than most metals and exhibits good corrosion resistance against alkalis and acids hence statement 2 is correct it was discovered in 1801 by the spanish mineralogist andres manuel de rio who named it erythronium but eventually came to believe it was merely impure chromium the largest resources of vanadium minerals are found in south africa and russia therefore option c is the correct answer now let's begin today's session first question is consider the following statements with reference to sri narayan guru one he organized an all region conference in 1923 at alwai advait ashram two his adyaropa darshanam explains the creation of the universe Three, he gave the famous slogan "One caste, one religion, one God for all." How many of the statements given above are correct? Only one, only two, all three, or none? The correct answer is option C, all three. Recently, the death anniversary of Sri Narayan Guru was observed on 20th September. In 1888, he built a temple dedicated to Lord Shiva at Aruvipuram, which was against the caste-based restrictions of the time. He organized an all-region conference in 1923 at Alwai Advait Ashram, which was reported to be the first such event in India. Hence, statement one is correct. Sri Narayan Guru Dev's Adyaropa Darshanam or Darshan Mala explains the creation of the universe. Hence, statement two is correct. He gave the famous slogan "One caste, one religion, one God for all." Hence, statement three is correct. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is which of the following ministry launched a the winds portal Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Ministry of Environment Forest and Climate Change Ministry of Earth Sciences or Niti Aayog The correct answer is option A Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Recently government launched the Kisan Rin portal and weather winds manual The winds that is weather information network data systems initiative is laying emphasis on setting up a strong network of weather stations It was launched in July 2023 by the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare to leverage advanced weather data analytics to give stakeholders actionable insight to make informed weather decisions on agriculture. Crucial weather related information and data will be available to the farmers through winds. The goal is to bridge the gap in weather information availability and empower decision makers, farmers and stakeholders at the grassroots level. Therefore option A is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding Legionnaire's disease. One it is a deadly virus disease. Two currently there is treatment available for this disease. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option B, two only. Recently a total of 166 cases of legionella losses including 23 deaths have been reported from Poland. Legion losses More commonly known as Legionnaire's disease is a pneumonia like illness caused by a bacteria that varies in severity from mild to severe illness and is sometimes a fatal form of pneumonia hence statement 1 is not correct most people develop legionnaire's disease by inhaling the bacteria from water these are treated with antibiotics the sooner therapy is started the less likely the chance of developing serious complications in many cases treatment requires hospitalization Hence statement 2 is correct. Initially symptoms are fever, mild cough, loss of appetite, headache, malaise and lethargy with some patients also experiencing muscle pain, diarrhea and confusion. Overall the death rate is usually between 5 to 10%. Therefore option B is the correct answer. Next question is in the context of Indian biodiversity what is the IUCN status of Mithun that is Bos frontalis? critically endangered near threatened vulnerable or least concern the correct answer is option c vulnerable recently north east mithun got a food animal tag from the food safety and standards authority of india the mithun or gayal that is bos frontalis is considered a descendant of the indian gaur or bison 
It plays an important role in the socio-economic and cultural life of tribes such as Nishi, Apatani, Galo and Adi in Arunachal Pradesh. It is distributed in Northeast India, Bangladesh, Northern Myanmar and Yunnan, China. The IUCN status of Mithun is vulnerable. It is known as the cattle of the mountain. The Gayal is the state animal of Arunachal Pradesh and Nagaland. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following countries. 1. Burundi, 2. Tanzania, 3. Uganda. Which of the above given countries has a border with Rwanda? 1 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 2 only or 1, 2 and 3? The correct answer is option D, 1, 2 and 3. Rwanda has a high representation of women in its parliament with around 61% of lower house seats occupied by women. Rwanda is bordered by Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Rwanda is a landlocked country in the Great Rift Valley of Central Africa where the African Great Lakes region and Southeast Africa converge. It is located a few degrees south of the equator. The capital of Rwanda is Kigali which is located in the center of the country on the Ruganwa River. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following pairs of UNESCO Heritage in Danger List and their respective countries. UNESCO Danger List and Country 1. Saint Sophia Cathedral, Ukraine 2. Lake Turkana, Canada 3. Hampi, India which of the pairs given above is or are correctly matched? 1 only, 2 only, 2 and 3 only or 1 and 3 only? The correct answer is option D, 1 and 3 only. Recently, the UN's cultural organization placed World Heritage Sites in the Ukrainian cities of Kyiv and Lviv on its in danger list. UNESCO had added Kyiv's St. Sophia Cathedral and the medieval buildings of the city's Kyiv, Pechersk, Lavra Monastery site to the list. The two historic sites located in Ukraine have remained under permanent threat since the commencement of the war. Hence, pair 1 is correct. Garamba National Park is located in Congo and Lake Turkana is located in Kenya. Hence, pair 2 is not correct. Manas Wildlife Sanctuary and Hampi are the two heritage sites from India placed under the danger list. Hence, pair 3 is correct. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding World Ozone Day. 1. It is celebrated every year on 21st September. 2. The theme of this year is Montreal Protocol fixing the ozone layer and reducing climate change. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option B, 2 only. Recently, World Ozone Day or International Day was observed on 16th September for the preservation of the ozone layer. Hence, statement 1 is not correct. The theme for World Ozone Day 2023 is Montreal Protocol fixing the ozone layer and reducing climate change. Hence, statement 2 is correct. Montreal Protocol is an international treaty that aimed to phase out the production and consumption of ozone depleting substances, primarily chlorofluorocarbons, halons, carbon tetrachloride and other chemicals. It was adopted on October 15, 2016 in Kigali, Rwanda as an extension of the Montreal Protocol. These substances were commonly used in refrigeration, air conditioning and aerosol propellants. Therefore, option B is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements regarding antitrust laws. One, antitrust laws are regulations that encourage competition by limiting the market power of businesses and corporations. 2. In India, antitrust provisions fall within the jurisdiction of the Competition Commission of India under the Competition Act 2002. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. Recently, the US government commenced an antitrust trial against Google to check its dominance in the search engine market to eliminate competition and maintain its monopoly. Antitrust laws are regulations that encourage competition by limiting the market power of businesses and corporations. Hence, statement 1 is correct. In India, antitrust provisions fall within the jurisdiction of the Competition Commission of India under the Competition Act 2002. Hence, statement 2 is correct. The Act prohibits anti-competitive agreements and abuse of dominant position by enterprises and regulates combinations, mergers, amalgamations and acquisitions. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Next question is consider the following statements with reference to the anorthosite. 1. It is a type of sedimentary rock composed predominantly of calcium rich materials. 2. Anorthosite is found on both the earth's and the moon's surface. 
थ्री एंड ऑर्थोसाइड सॉइल इज अवेलेबल इन इंडिया इन द स्टेट्स ऑफ तमिलनाडु एंड आंध्र प्रदेश हाउ मेनी ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट्स गिवन अबव आर करेक्ट ओनली वन ओनली टू ऑल थ्री और नन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी ओनली टू आई हैव टी सप्लाई ऑफ द एनऑर्थोसाइड सॉइल फ्रॉम सीतमपुंडी एंड कुन्नामलाई विलेजेस एंश्योर द चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन सक्सेस एन ऑर्थोसाइट अ टाइप ऑफ इंट्रोजिव इग्नियस रॉक कंपोज प्री डोमिनेटली ऑफ कैल्शियम रिच प्लेगियोक्लेस फेल्ड स्पा इट कंटेन्स एल्यूमिनियम सिलिकॉन एंड कैल्शियम मिनरल्स दैट आर हाई इन डिमांड हैंस स्टेटमेंट वन इज नॉट करेक्ट ऑल एन ऑर्थोसाइट्स फाउंड ऑन अर्थ कंसिस्ट ऑफ कोर्स क्रिस्टल्स बट सम सैम्पल्स ऑफ द रॉक टेकन फ्रॉम द मून आर फाइनली क्रिस्टलाइन हैंस स्टेटमेंट टू इज करेक्ट मोस्ट एन ऑर्थोसाइट्स फॉर्मड ड्यूरिंग प्री कैम्ब्रियन टाइम्स इन इंडिया दिस सॉइल इज अवेलेबल इन एबंडेंस इन प्लेसेज लाइक सीतमपुंडी एंड कुनुमलाई विलेज सराउंडिंग नमक्कल एंड ऑल्सो इन सम एरियाज इन आंध्र प्रदेश एंड नॉर्दर्न पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री हैंस स्टेटमेंट थ्री इज करेक्ट दे ऑफर ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग चौसठ योगिनी टेम्पल वन इट वॉज बिल्ड बाई किंग महिपाल इन द सतवाहना डायनेस्टी टू इट इज पार्ट ऑफ द यूनेस्को वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज एंड इज लोकेटेड इन ओडिशा विच ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट्स की वन अबव इज आर आर करेक्ट वन ओनली टू ओनली बोथ वन एंड टू और नीदर वन नॉर टू द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी नीदर वन नॉर टू चौसठ योगिनी टेम्पल इज बिलीव टू हैव इंस्पायर द ओल्ड पार्लियामेंट बिल्डिंग द टेम्पल वॉज बिल्ड बाय द कच पघाटा किंग देव पाल हैंस स्टेटमेंट वन इज नॉट करेक्ट द किंग बिलोंग टू द पाला डायनेस्टी दिस टेम्पल इज पार्ट ऑफ अ यूनेस्को वर्ल्ड हेरिटेज साइट अलॉन्ग विद अदर टेम्पल्स इन द खजुराहो ग्रुप ऑफ मॉन्यूमेंट्स लोकेटेड इन मध्य प्रदेश हैंस स्टेटमेंट टू इज नॉट करेक्ट द मिताओली टेम्पल हैज सिक्सटी फोर चैम्बर्स डेडिकेटेड टू द सिक्सटी फोर योगिनीज दे फॉर ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर द प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग ताइवान स्ट्रेट One, it separates the islands of Taiwan and continental Asia, and is also known as the Formosa Strait. Two, the strait is currently part of the South China Sea and connects to the East China Sea to the north. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.